I'm trying to remember what the old-fashioned name is for somebody who, uh, I think it's one of those professions where maybe they've changed their names in recent years. I'm trying to remember what the... Probably because uh, nobody could say it. I'm pretty sure it's between hands and feet. I still can't remember what the old-fashioned name is for uh, somebody who looks at feet. I'm pretty sure it's feet. I'll play feet, please. Final answer. Final answer. What did you say? You thought it was between hands and feet. Why did you go for feet, not hands? Um, I seem to think there's something to do with the lower leg. So I, we used to know somebody who, who dealt with that part of the body, and I think, I think they call it podiatry now. But we'll find out, won't we? You just found out. You just won £64,000. <laughs> Christopher! Have a look at that. Give us the other one back. <laughs> I think I might keep that. No. No. You've got that, but I'll well, have yeah, it over here yeah. for safekeeping. Yeah. Even though you're six foot six. I'll put that there. Chris, whatever happens, you go yeah. away with that check. But at this moment, you can have that. Have a look at it. Okay. Question number 11, the right answer is worth £64,000. Want to put that one in your pocket? I'll keep hold of it for a minute, yeah. So you can. It's your check. It's from the Greek uh, podos, meaning a foot. Absolutely right answer. Now, you are four questions away from a million pounds. You've still got all three lifelines. Question number 12. Have a look at it. Tell me what you want to do. It's worth £125,000. Which US president was famous for his fireside chats on the radio? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Harry S. Truman. Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy. I play 50 50, please. You can. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Chris the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. What's that done? Mm. Apart from reduce the options, it helped. I was hoping you were going to leave one of the other ones up, yeah. Roosevelt or Truman? Uh, one of those is worth £125,000, one of them will cost you £32,000. You've still got two lifelines. Yeah. I think I'll have to use, uh, I think I'll have to use the phone a friend, please. <laughs> Not ask the audience. <laughs> I, I didn't get a good enough look at that. I, I, I can't remember what the year was. Chris, trust me, you missed nothing. Yeah, I, can't. <laughs> I should have looked at the age profile, maybe somebody <laughs> a bit older might <laughs> OK, you've got £64,000, yeah. who are you going to phone? I think I'll phone Steve, please. Steve, Steve. Steve. OK, where's he, Yorkshire? Yeah, he's at, at home in Yorkshire, yeah. OK, good luck. Thank you. Steve? Steve Stanton, yeah. Hello? Steve? Uh, yeah? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? I've got Chris Jones here. Yeah? He's doing really rather well. Right. He's on £64,000. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With your help, serious phone call this, Steve. With your help, we can get him up to £125,000. Now, he's used to 50-50. There are only two possible options. One of these is wrong, one of them's right. The right one is worth £125,000. OK, Steve? OK. OK, next voice you hear will be Chris's. He's got 30 seconds to tell you two possible answers. Chris, good luck. Your time starts now. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Which US president was famous for his fireside chats on the radio? Is it Franklin D. Roosevelt or Harry S. Truman? To be quite honest, Chris, I don't know. That's OK. Thanks for being honest, Steve. All right, best of luck. Thanks very much. All Cheers. Right. Ta All right. Hmm. I'm glad he was honest. Yeah, it's better, actually. Mm -hmm. It's better if they're right, but if, if they don't know, it's better if they tell you. Uh, you've got to ask the audience. Yeah, we'll go for it. Yeah. OK, everybody, no pressure. It's worth £125,000. This is the question. There are only two options. Please, nobody vote C or D. <laughs> Which US president was famous for his fireside chats on the radio? A, Franklin D. Roosevelt. B, Harry S. Truman. All vote now. <laughs> <laughs> he 
You sort of knew, didn't you? <laughs> Even in the dark, you knew. <laughs> now, it's up to you. Uh, you've got £64,000 at this moment in your top pocket. Mm. This is worth £125,000. Um, 51% of this audience say Roosevelt. 49% um, say Truman. I always thought it was a gamble at this stage because of the, the odds, but sitting with a cheque, I'm not so sure now. Um, you got an inkling at all? I'm thinking Harry S. Truman, but to be honest, I think it could be either of them. Um, I know Roosevelt was president in the 30s, Truman in the 40s. I am tempted because of the uh, because of the odds, but then again, 64,000 is very nice. Mm. I said I wouldn't gamble. We we discussed it before, and I said I wouldn't gamble. So I think I'll stick at that. Why do you say because of the odds? Well, <clears throat> the most I can lose is 32,000. But if I'm right on a 50-50 shot, then I get double back. She's not going to forgive me, but I'm going to gamble. Ah, hang on. Oh, well done. Oh, well done. <laughs> yes. I think you noticed the long-suffering Mrs. Jones up there wasn't applauding with the rest of you. Yeah. She was looking horrified. No, it's up to you. Yeah, when I saw the, f the four choices, my first thought was Harry Truman. And obviously, like, I was hoping that Franklin Roosevelt wouldn't come up. I've just got something in the back of my mind saying it's Harry Truman. I'll say Harry Truman. I know I'm going to regret it, but I'll say Harry Truman. Final answer. Final answer. You had £64,000. You're a brave man, Chris. You just lost ah. £32,000. I am sorry. The right answer was Bruce Hill. Give us a check back. Sorry, that's how it works. Uh, you still go away, £32,000. Have a look at that. You still go. It's a good night's work, actually, sorted Indeed. it out. And you were, you were a very brave guy. Give him a big hand. Chris Jones leaves us £32,000 better off. <laughs> now, ten brand new contestants on Millionaire's Road tonight, all hoping to follow Chris into that hot seat. They are <laughs> Alex Harrison from Jersey, <laughs> Jonathan Gershwell from London. Joe Blacker from Essex. John Devlin from Renfrewshire. George Reimer from East Yorkshire. Stephen Mahaffey from County Antrim. Sandra Lewis from Leicestershire. Russell Barnes from London. John Byrne from Wiltshire. And Tom Prinham from Mid Glamorgan. Right, that's your ten contestants tonight. Now, fast finger first. Uh, get the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time, and you're next tonight to play for a possible £1 million. Quiet in the audience, please, as a little monastery. Here comes the next question. Starting with the earliest, put these sailors in the order they were born. So four well-known sailors coming up. We want the one born farthest back in time first, coming towards the present day. Here they are. James Cook, Che Blythe, Francis Chichester, Francis Drake. OK, ten contestants then, ready to start tonight. Let's get the right order first, starting with the earliest. Uh, Francis Drake, fairly obviously right back in uh, 1540. Then James Cook, 1728. Francis Chichester, 1901, this is when they were born. And then Che Blythe, born in 1940. That's the right order. Now, ten started. How many were correct out of ten? Uh, not that many. Who was fastest? Uh, Joe Blacker in 5.70 seconds. Oh, no. No, you are not going to the toilet. <laughs> You're to pay for a million pounds. No. Just please apply more. Let's do it.
nearly toppled. It nearly did. It nearly toppled. Not backwards. <laughs> it nearly went. Uh, OK, this is Joe Blacker, a company administrator from Wickford in Essex. Up in the audience up there looking very proud is uh, husband Bill. And watching at home are the eight bull terriers and the kids, James, Haley, and Matt, who've already apparently worked out exactly what they want so far anyway from Mum. James wants enough money to buy a flash car and impress all the girls. James is just 15. Uh, Matt wants a quad bike, but all little Haley wants is a wave from Mummy. Go on. Hi, Haley. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> Joe often plays the millionaire board game with girls against boys with her mates. Uh, she now has a confession, though. When the blokes are out of the room, the girls swap the £500 questions for £32,000 ones. <laughs> so now all the blokes that play with Haley know why they always lose. Is that true? A little devil. So how are you feeling then? Got a plan? Just get the questions right. That's a good plan. That's a very good plan. <laughs> what are the names of the kids are uh, James Haley? Is he really after girls and flash cars at 15, is he? He's into the girls. Is he? He's got a girlfriend. What's she called? Danielle. For some reason at home, that will be really embarrassing to him, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> Great. OK. You've got um, one of your friends, uh, phone a friend, is Jimmy Greaves' son. Mm. How do you know him? Because his boy is my youngest boy's friend. It's very complicated, your world, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Quite truthfully, what sort, of, what sort of money would you like to go home with? I mean, a million would be very nice, but truithfully. Um, See, with your army, you need quite a lot, I think. Yeah. I don't know, really. I mean, it's nice to get a thousand, because that's like a good day's work. It's a very good day's right. work. Uh, I don't really know. 16? 32. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've already seen uh, 32,000 tonight. Um, see what happens. Okay. okay, well, lots of luck, Joe. Okay. Uh, you know the rules. 15 questions, three brand new lifelines of one million pounds. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, Joe, for 100 quid, question number one. Have a look. Here it is. Which of these implements is typically used for serving ice cream? Wok. Toaster. Scoop. Rolling pin. Scoop. Scoop. It's right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> Old Haley would be proud of mummy now. You've got 100 quid. Uh, question number two for £200. Have a look. Take your time. Here it is. Denmark is on which continent? South America. Asia. Europe. Africa. Europe. It's the right answer, Joe. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> Be aware, up to a thousand. Uh, you could go home with nothing. It happened a few days ago. I'm sure it won't. This is for 300 quid. Which of these is a famous amphitheatre in America? Hollywood spoon, Hollywood dish, Hollywood saucer, Hollywood bowl. Hollywood bowl. How do you know? Because I've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You got third of bad. Uh, question number four for £500, no problem so far. You've got all three lifelines. Have a look at uh, question number four. With which of these is TV presenter Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen most associated? Cookery, interior design, antiques, finance. It's a guy with a long hair. I think it's interior design. Final answer? <laughs> it's good, you've got £500. <laughs> got three lifelines, this is question number five. Which medical device is used to regulate the heartbeat? Pace setter, pace bowler, pace maker, pace lapper. Pace maker. Why? Because I've heard of it. Because <laughs> I've heard of it. It's right out, got a thousand pounds. Next, here on Challenge, we've intense quiz show action in more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We've intense wrestling action in a TNA Impact, followed by your main event, an equally intense TNA Explosion. Intensity, thy name is Challenge. <laughs>